how do you free spins in Microsoft Excel? Before we understand how can we free spins in Microsoft Excel, let's understand what exactly is this term called as free spins. To help you understand this, let's take an example. Imagine you are working on a lot of data in Microsoft Excel. Let's go to Excel and have a look at a sample data set. Here we have some sample data which is spread across a lot of columns. So as you can see, we have a lot of columns right here and it also has a lot of rows. The first row of this data set contains the header of each and every column, helping us understand what kind of data does each and every column represent. So here we have the first column representing order ID, then we have order date, customer name, country and so on. Using this data, you might want to scroll up and down in this data set or scroll sideways from left to right in order to see all the columns. But here is a problem. When you are scrolling up and down in your data set, you do not have the header row constantly visible to you. So you are not aware about what kind of data is being represented by each and every column. You would not be able to understand, for example, what column or what data does this column represent? Is it the country name? Is it the state name? Is it the city name? I will not be able to understand it as well. So what do we have to do? We again have to scroll back to the top, have a look at the header, all right, this is the state name, and then keep on scrolling down which is a problem. Similarly, if you are scrolling your data from left to right, you might want to have the first column constantly on your screen if it contains some important information. For example, the first column that we are having here is the order ID. If you want to keep order ID constantly on your screen while you are scrolling towards the right hand side, this is something that you will have to separately do with a function called as free spins. Right now, if you scroll to the right hand side, you will not be able to see the first column. So again, you will have to go to the left hand side and then have a look at, all right, this is the transaction number or the order ID of this particular transaction. Both of these problems can be solved with one straightforward, one simple function in Excel called as freeze spins. Free spins will be available in the view tab of your Microsoft Excel software. So right here, as you can see, you have something called as free spins. What exactly does it do? It allows you to freeze the top row of your entire worksheet, the first column of your entire worksheet, or even a combination of a few rows and columns together, depending on your requirement. This will help you free something that you want and always have it in front of you on the screen whenever required. And whenever you are scrolling down or left or left to right in your data set, you will be able to easily understand what kind of headers you have, what data is being represented in these different different columns and much more. You have three specific options in free spins. So let's go ahead and understand all three of them. Right here, I have free spins. If I click on it, a drop down will open up, which will allow me to do three things. First, freeze panes. Second, freeze top row. And third, freeze first column. We will first understand the second option, then the third option, and then come back to the first option. So the second option that we are having here is called the freeze top row. Whatever the first row of your worksheet is, that will be frozen if you select this option. So if you simply click on this freeze top row, the first row of your entire worksheet will be frozen. Now, if you scroll down, as you can see, the first row is constantly visible to you. If you again want to go back to the default setting where it's not visible, all you have to do is go to freeze panes and unfreeze panes. Once you click on it and scroll down, the first row will no longer be visible. Similarly, if you want the first column of your entire data set to be visible all the time, you can simply go to free spins, freeze first column, click on it, and now the first column will be constantly frozen. So even if you move towards the right hand side, as you can see, order ID is constantly visible. Again, if you want to go back to the default setting where it is not constant, go to free spins and unfreeze panes. So this is all about the second and the third option. Now, speaking about the first option, 
there are a lot of times where you would want to actually freeze a bunch of rows and columns together. So how do you really do that? With the first option called as freeze panes. Wherever your selection, or I would say the cell selection is, for example, let's say I am on this cell. Wherever your cell selection is, all the rows above that selection will be frozen and all the columns to the left of that cell will also be frozen. So for example, if I am right here on this cell, all the rows above it, which is the first row, will be frozen and all the columns to the left of it, that is the first column, will be frozen as well. So using this option, you can freeze a bunch of rows and columns together. For example, if I go to freeze panes and now click on freeze panes, the first row is constant. So even if I scroll down, it will be still visible to me. Even if I scroll to the right hand side, the first column will also be visible to me. This is how freeze panes work. Let's take one more example. I'll go to freeze panes and unfreeze panes. Now, imagine I am on this particular cell. And now if I select the option of freeze panes, the first three rows of your data will be frozen and the first three columns of your data will also be frozen. I'll go to freeze panes, select the option of freeze panes and that's it. Now if I scroll down, as you can see, first three rows are constantly visible. If I scroll to the right hand side, just like this, the first three columns are also constantly visible to me. They are frozen, all right? Again, you can go back to free spans, unfree spans, and go back to the default setting and have the Excel workbook and worksheet, I would say, working normally as well. So this is how you can use free spans, what exactly is it, and how you can benefit from it as well. That's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next one.